Hello and welcome to another brand new video and also a new feature on the channel. I'm going to be checking out many of the ships on the Great Lakes this, this year of 2024. Uh, and I couldn't find a better place to start this season with being right here in Welland. Even though no ships come down here anymore, this is basically the old Welland Canal right behind me. This is Bridge 13 and uh, back in the day many ships would have come under this bridge. Um, it was built back in 1927 and was operational since 1930 up until 1972. Basically this was the old bridge uh, also now just referred to as Welland Bridge. So I couldn't think of a better place to, to come today to start this uh, new series I'm going to be doing and the series of videos I'm going to be doing is Ships of the Great Lakes. So basically I'm going to be out there documenting as many ships as I can this year, uh, traveling through either the locks, being on Lake Ontario, Lake Erie. At times I'm going to try and get out on the water on my uh, personal watercraft and ride alongside some of these vessels and what we'll do we'll make some like short like eight to ten minute videos of the, uh, the ships, each individual ship we'll try and get as many as we can this season and we'll have some drone shots if possible if the weather's good enough and uh, i'm either going to put some music on these videos or i might just do some narration of each vessel uh, about its history and stuff like that so each video will try and be slightly different but we'll try and keep them down to eight to ten minutes long and uh, try and get some really really good shots for all you people that love watching the ships that sail our great lakes i'm now going to make my way over to a place called port robinson which is like a 10 minute drive from here so the welling canal the newer one is just over there so we'll start our first video and of the series um, over at Port Robinson. Enjoy! She's a veteran of the Great Lakes, CSL Laurentian. The Laurentian is a vessel that embodies the rich maritime history and the enduring spirit of the Great Lakes shipping industry. As a self-discharging bulk carrier, the CSL Laurentian has been a workhorse of the Canada Steamship Lines fleet playing a crucial role in the transportation of vital commodities. She was built in 1977 and this vessel has seen the evolution of shipping over the decades. In 2001, the CSL Laurentian underwent a significant transformation when it was converted into a self-unloading vessel. This conversion included the installation of hoppered holds with 35 degree angle slopes and a hydraulic operated roller track gates which allowed for efficient unloading of cargo without the need of external equipment. With a gross tonnage of 24,024 and a dead weight of 36,674 tons, the CSL Laurentian is capable of carrying significant payload. Its length of 225.48 meters and breadth of 2377 meters makes it a prominent figure on the waterways. This vessel's unloading boom extends 79 meters, allowing for the efficient transfer of cargo to shore facilities. The CSL Laurentian's design also takes into account the well-being of its crew. The vessel features self-contained PC workstations connected to a network that permits remote control and automation of both the unloading and ballast systems, ensuring a safe and comfortable working environment. CSL Laurentian is now upbound on the Welland Canal heading towards Port Coburn, where she'll exit Port Coburn and then enter the Lake Erie and onto Lake Huron where she'll travel north to a place called the Salon or The Salon. I believe it's a Greek t uh, town or named after a Greek town in uh, Northern Ontario and it's uh, basically it's the northern edge of Lake Huron just northwest of Manitoulin Island. Now as the ship is sailing away from me another little vessel is now coming into view and at first I didn't quite understand what I was looking at and I realized it's the cheeky tug Theodore. Theodore the tug looks like it's making its way back to Hamilton and uh, the pair of them pass right here just uh, south of Port Robinson.
Well, that was a mad dash. I literally just got down here just as the ship was coming down the canal. Uh, CSL Laurentian um, making its way down to Port Coburn right now. Uh, I should say making its way up to Port Coburn. And of course, then we saw that little tugboat, which was well known for being out, I believe it was in Halifax the other year, that's now based out of Hamilton. Uh, that was a cool capture as well. So I'm pretty impressed with that. So Welland is actually well known for uh, where rail meets the water, basically meaning all the industry of rail uh, and canals, because back in the day, rail would have brought in all the trade and goods between Buffalo, United States, into most parts of Ontario. And then the canal systems changed all that as well, and more stuff, more goods got brought in. So anyway, a lot of history in Welland and the surrounding area, which one day I'll go and check it all out. But in the meantime, this is it, Welland Canal up here by Port Robinson. So just like I said, uh, Welland, where rail meets water, and we just witnessed that right here. We have the Welland Canal just over there and the main railway line right here, bringing goods backwards and forwards across Ontario. Turned out to be a good video in the end. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll be back very soon with more uh, ships on our Great Lakes. Until then, take care.